This video is on the topic of biosecurity and biosecurity is really what we call the practices by which we try to keep infections from entering into a farm and into the livestock on a farm and also the practices that we adopt to try to stop bringing infection out of a farm if those animals are infected. The entrance of infection into a farm occur by a variety of means by the entrance of vehicles and people and animals through the main gate of a property. But it can also be across the fence, by shared grazing, by the workers themselves and people who handle animals, and by a variety of other means. This video aims to show you some of the practices which may be a high risk and some of the options that can be adopted to reduce the risk. Highly contagious diseases like foot and mouth disease spread very easily from one animal to another, particularly if they are allowed to contact. But that contact can also occur in the areas where the animals are grazing. So one practice which is used is to separate animals by having fences or physical barriers to stop the animals from one owner mixing with the animals of another owner. But we all know that those physical barriers or the containment of animals is not easy. It may interfere with the normal practices in which those animals are fed and grazed. And in areas where the resources are very limited, then the animals may be moved to places where they graze together and that can bring an additional risk. Infections can also spread on feed, such as hay. And if an animal is uh, infected and it's grazing or contacts an area where feed is being stored, that can also be a source for infection to spread through the medium of the food which is then taken to other animals. It is always a difficult choice how to manage the risk of infection spreading. But we hope we give you some ideas how this may be done in relation to the scale of the risk and the consequences of a disease entering into a property.